What up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Fired up today. We got Hog Squad back here in the back. Y'all know him pretty regularly on our channel. Me and him decided to come out on this slick, calm day. It's absolutely perfect. And he's got a slow pitch jig. Let me show you what I brought with me real quick. Just give you an idea what we're doing here. Check out the jigs. Loaded down with jigs. Stopped at Fisherman's Hut in Bradenton on our way out. We're in Sarasota. We're off, um, I don't know, 60, 70 miles out into the ocean. Uh, maybe, I think 40, 50 right now. 40, 50? Yeah. About 40, 50 because we're about 120 feet of water. I'm gonna show you what kind of jigs I'm using. And we're about to hook some fire trucks, some big fish, just big fish. No bait on the boat, absolutely no bait today. This is all about jigging, deep water jigging. It's so easy in the morning. We got up, hooked up the boat, and just went to the ramp. It took off out in the ocean. We're clean, we're dry. This is gonna be a lot of fun. Got the Reaper rods in action. Let's go get fishing. Sorry, I'll... First fish, guys, on the slow pitch. Let's see what it is. Doesn't seem too big, but it's a good start to the day. Yeah. Good first fish, right? So it's good to bend around. This jig's been good to me. He hit it on the fall? He hit it as soon as it hit the bottom. Little guy, let's see what it is. Kind of crank him. Looks like a little red to start. Yeah, a little say. red grouper. A <laughs> little red grouper? Yep. Yep. First slow pitch fish right there. A little red grouper. I'm going to go ahead and vent him and get him back down. They're out of season and he's too small. Not very big at all. I think it's going to be another teeny red grouper. So we're getting the rods wet this morning, right? We are. Stretching the line out. Getting the warm up in. What you got that? that? Oh, B-liner. B-liner. Look at that. Little baby B-liner. Woo! Likes that color. Get him back in the water. So two drops, two hookups to the first spot. We're not seeing a lot on the machine, but uh, we're gonna fish it a little bit and give it a couple more drops. We got tons of spots around here to hit today. That's all we're doing. Straight slow That's pitching. Nice. Whatever this is. Fish on. It's a little heavier. It's not fighting though. I'm getting hit on right now, little ones. Little ones? Yeah, a lot of little fish down there right now. This oh. spot. It is glass out there, guys. Y'all see that? Ooh. There we go. It's been flat this all This might morning. be a little better. Yeah? Can't tell with that rod. I've never seen that rod work yet. Yeah, me neither. Little guy. Oh, that's why. Them side hooked? Yeah. Grunt, huh? Grunt? Uh -huh. Oh, we got oh, me. Oh, got you. That's a part that's of not it. Good. Not good. Not good. All right, guys. Little fish seems to be the name of the game at these spots. I'm gonna make a move. on the side. Old wine bottle, huh? Oh, no, I don't think there's a message in the bottle. Mm -mm. A couple snails in it, though. Been yeah. out here a while. Whatever it is, it's stuck, though. You stuck it good? Yeah. I'm drifting, so I might get lit up over there. You might. There. Yeah, I think it's one of them grunts. Oh, what is that? Oh, it's a lane snapper. Lane Check snapper. That out. Bring it on up. Little Check lane. So as you can see, what's really cool about these slow pitch jigs is one, we were just talking about it, the little fish, when they hit it, they just go away. You don't lose your bait. Two, you get to catch everything out in the ocean. It's really cool. Going back at it, I'm hoping that, I just feel a big, big fish coming on today, like one of the big whoppers. Oh, 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 whoa. Oh, 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 oh. Hey now. Hey now. Hey now, don't be working that ride so much now. I need to get to the bottom. Whoa, whoa. Whoa! It's gonna be a real one right here. I feel like the rod's gonna break, but it ain't. I mean, oh, oh, <laughs> this is a shipwreck monster. I mean, I didn't even get to the bottom. It was tight. That's a big fish, man. Yeah, that ain't no joke. That's a real one. That's what we're looking for. This is what we're looking for, guys. Oh, oh you hear it? Yeah, I hear Spin it. Spin lining, because it's bending that much. It's beyond the rod bend. It's scoping That's out now. Cool, man. Whoo, whoo. This slow fishing is fun, man. You never know what you're gonna get hit. And it's like fishing with like a Snoopy pole in the ocean. Yeah. It really is cool. It is so cool. Ooh, I might man. have to go to the heavier rod next. I'm, uh, I can feel it. I can feel it, but it's handling it. It's doing it. Oh man, it's big, whatever it is, dude. Holy moly. 
My third drop. We had a feeling of some big ones there. Oh. Oh, what is that? I don't know. Whatever it is. Got no color, got color, guys. We got color. Oh. It's a big grouper. Is it? I think it's a big red grouper. Oh. oh. Touch the back, yeah. Oh. That's a huge red grouper, and sadly, they're out of season. Is that what it is? Oh, yeah. Look at that thing. The fire truck. <laughs> That's a monster. You nailed it. Oh my goodness. You nailed it, that little rod dog. <laughs> Check this <laughs> out, guys. <laughs> we got oh my. Dang. Hold on, I'm coming to grab this one for y'all. Let me show the people. Stuck it. Check this out, guys. Oh, that's a fire truck if I've ever seen one. Check that out. Look at the crab coming up. What is that? Uh, I don't know. It's one of those deep water crabs. I've had one throw one up before. That is wild. That thing is huge. God, the crab's trying to get me. Oh, the crab alive? I don't know. He just killed <laughs> it, I think. Check that out, guys. That's what you come slow pitch jigging for. You just don't see them on bait like this, guys. You just don't. I mean, it's just a straight monster. And boy, is it so much fun with that light rod, man. So cool, so much fun. We're gonna release this one. One hook straight up in the top, perfectly hooked. And we're gonna go back down and see what we can do. If we keep getting some reds, we're gonna move on out of here. But even though I gotta release them, it's well worth it, guys. Whew. First big fish of the day. Like a small. What you got there? It's a little red. A little red, little red snapper. Snapper? Baby red. That's yeah. the smallest red snapper I've ever seen hooked. Yeah. <laughs> Dang, that's a baby. Show them show how the size comparison to the jig. A little baby red. Eight to 40 gram. Maybe I need to put on a bigger jig. Look at that. I've never seen a red snapper that small before. It's tiny. Looks like we found a little spawning area for him. Oh, there go. that was a bee liner. Bee liner. Bee liner. Yeah, all the wrong stuff, huh? Yep. Another small fish. Another little guy in the jig. All right, so that's going to be our trigger to make the move to the next spot. Uh, I caught a little red snapper. I wasn't even on film. He caught a little bee liner. All little fish. You know, one thing I learned, man, is when you're fishing in the summertime, don't fish springs. These springs just aren't produced in the summer. I, I kill them in the spring and wintertime. But, um, you know, now I come back to these springs and these freshwater springs that come out the earth, and they're just not getting it. So... We're going to move on, get off this spring, go somewhere else, and uh, hopefully have some better luck. Hopefully see a big old Christmas tree on the screen when we get there. If we do, I'll show you what that looks like. So we got to the new spot. Hooked up. Hog squad had one big one to nail him. It got off. I don't even see him on the machine. My guess is going to be a grouper if it's on the bottom. It's decent fish, not huge. Definitely not like that other grouper I hooked, if it's a grouper. I can crank on this one. Yeah. You know it's a good when they pull that 30, 40 feet of drag. Oof. Promise y'all one thing, you come slow pitch jigging, you're going to be worn out by the end of the day with this rod. What we got? Looks like another nice size red grouper. Or Is it? A little yeah. red. Little yep. compared to the last one. Yeah, little compared to the last one. Decent oh. and a standard. Another red grouper. Just finding that hard bottom, man. We're not really finding those, uh, those snapper yet or anything else, but... We'll make a move soon again. We just got to this new spot. We're going to look around. He's barely hooked. Look at this. It comes yeah. right out. Wow. Yeah. That's why you always got to keep pressure on a fish, guys. I'm going to go ahead and throw him back. Get back after it. Let's see what Dylan's got on the jig. I think it's one of them lizard fish. No, it's a... What is that? Show the people. Oh, it is a grouper. A little baby grouper. This is my first red grouper on the jig. So excited, Dylan. You're so excited. So excited. <laughs> First one on the jig. Look at that. Oh, he wasn't yeah, even throwing hooked. up fish left and right. Look at that. Another little fish Is that coming a baby up. red grouper he just puked up? Probably something like that. Get him Look back. At that. See you, bud. I'm gonna get him back and try and ride around until we find a pyramid on the screen and see if we can't find some snapper or something else besides these red grouper. They're thick on the bottom. That's what we're seeing on the machine. That's what we're catching. So 
obviously we gotta look around the machine until we find what we want. So we're gonna go looking. And like I said, if I show you, if I find what I'm looking for on the bottom, I'm gonna show you what it looks like. And I'll tell you what, when I see some more red grouper, I'll show you what that looks like on the bottom too. Well, the best one yet, huh? Yeah, it feels half decent. Ooh, ooh, I'm getting oh, hit. He's getting, I'm getting hit. hit. I'm getting hit. Oh! Oh, oh, oh. oh, got the jig getting bit. Just set it on the bottom. All right, let's see what Don't you got up. first. It's a uh, grouper. Grouper? Decent little grouper. You're still on there? Yeah. I'm going to reel up in a second see what we got. Little grouper. Little red groupers, man. We cannot get away from these red groupers today. They're eating the jig, though. Let's see what I got. Let's see how big he is first. Let's see. Just on the free drift. I think he's gone. Let's see. Yeah, he's gone. All right, guys. So you see we caught another red grouper. These red grouper are just thick out here today. We're going to keep moving around looking for these red snappers and other species. I want to show you what red grouper look like on the bottom. I froze the screen up, okay? I don't know if you can see that clearly, but you can see how they're just little pecks on the bottom. They're tight to the bottom. That's what it's gonna look like scrolling, just the bottom, I don't know, foot or two. It's just gonna have these little blue and, blue and green specks all over it. And those are gonna be a red grouper. Now the big one that I caught earlier, you'll see those a little bigger. They'll be like four or five foot stacked we saw them we saw the bait sitting on top of them and dropped in them and they nailed it but that's your smaller red grouper you're seeing us catch these 20 22 inch grouper that's what you're seeing on the screen hooked up feels like the right species now guys feels like i got the right one on because i'm getting hungry we're gonna need something for the box yeah and it's now it's cooling off a little sunshade come on Uh oh, he's let me crank him. That's not a good sign. No, he's barrel drum it out. The snapper. Snapper. Red snapper. Is he illegal? Oh, no, it's a grouper. grouper. He just hooked funny. Gosh. Cannot get away from these things today, guys. We're going to keep trying. Double yeah. hooked. Get him back down. Double hooked. God, all this food they throw up. They eat really well down there. I promise you that, guys. Yeah. They're, every time they come up, they're always throwing food up. Always. The red snapper. Red snappers? Mini. I think I might go bigger on the jig. Gotta go bigger on the jig. Little reds. Go big or go home. Another little red snapper. Uh oh. You snagged the bottom? Oh. <laughs> oh. Well, that's it, boys. <laughs> Shoo! Where's. Oh, shoot. <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> Randall just hooked something real. <laughs> that was real. That? Yeah. Holy moly. It was just like, oh, fill at the bottom. <laughs> I think I have a jig bag and everything. I think it spit it. Holy crap. Dude, I don't know what. That was solid. I don't want to know what that was. <sighs> All right, I didn't even give Hog Squad a chance to get in the water. I pulled up, <laughs> saw on the machine, dropped to the bottom, and hooked up. I'm going to see. We're moving around a lot today, guys. I ain't gonna lie. We found a red grouper over and over. Now, I hooked that monster fish. We were just talking about it on the ride, man. It felt like it was like at least 30, 40 pounds, maybe bigger. It was massive. Biggest fish I ever hooked on a rod like this. Well, let's see what we got here. I got a feeling they're groupers. Yep. yep. And these groupers thick. We gotta keep moving around, keep looking for them. But guess what, guys? We got a ton of red grouper spots for next season when we wanna yeah. catch them. I will fight them too hard. Yeah. Oh, hog spot using that reaper rod again. Yep. This is gonna be a good All right, one. so hog was coming up. He's finally got him a good one on. This might be the turn of the tides for us, guys. This thing's fighting fine. That's a 50 pound rod. 60 pound rod. You got the bigger rod. On the squid tracks, huh? Yeah. He nailed it. It was a good fish, man. Good fish. These rods are bad, huh? Yeah, I love them. I'll let him pull the hook now. Let's go, let's go. Here we go. We got color, we got color. Smoke and drag. See what he is. 
Big American Red? No, it's a it's a Jack. Big Jack? Big old Jack, some kind. Oh, uh, AJ. Yep. AJ! I wonder why he's dusting so much drag. Bounce him in. Not the target species, but another species on the slow pitch jig. Yep. These things work good, man. He's using what they call a squid track, so I'm going to show you all what it looks like right now. Go ahead and show them. This is a little squid track. Literally a little squid made by Nomad. All right, guys, so we've reached our last spot. Hail Mary here. Kind of want to show you what I've been throwing. Real simple. I'm on that Reaper Rod again with that little 300 reel, okay? It's a Reaper Rod. It's designed for slow pitch jigging. And I got an 80 gram jig. That's what I've been using all day. You can see it. That's the color I've been using. The twin hooks on it, 80 grams. He's used some 60s. Probably go as high as 100. But he's about to do some vertical jigging. We found a wreck. So our last spot's going to be a wreck. Do some vertical jigging, some slow pitch jigging, and cross our fingers and say we catch some good stuff and get on in. They got some storms back there waiting to clear so we can run in We're about 40, 50 miles off. Let's go fishing. Finally got a fish on. Saw some big ones drifted over those. Got on some smaller ones. I don't know what this one is. But God, we've been working for like three hours. Nothing. And, and nothing. And I'm gonna tell y'all why in a minute, why I think the theory is of why these fish stop biting. Because we've been seeing on the machine, what we got here? Oh, a scamp. Oh, scamp grouper. Scamp. There we go. Look at that, guys. A little scamp. The keeper size is that, 14, 16? Yeah, he's too small. But. Nothing else, pretty fish, man. Pretty fish. That's what I love about these jigs. They'll catch everything. I'm going to make another drop or two and see if we can get them. But I'm going to explain to you why I think these fish are slowing up in the summer and kind of what you have to do to keep them biting or come out at the right times of the day to catch fish. So, first of all, if you haven't liked and subscribed to the channel, make sure you do so because this is one of many jigging videos and slow pitch jigging, vertical jigging type videos. And one will be that dream maker day i call it so if you don't subscribe and you don't get to see them that's your own fault because it's going to be one of those days that's going to light it up and you're going to see exactly why this stuff is so cool today was you know mediocre and i'll tell you why so we got out here early in the morning the reason why our bites all came early in the day once we got about 10 11 o'clock it shut down is one see how glass it is out there water heats up really quick penetrates real quick two Look at this water temperature. See that, that's 90, almost 93 degree water temperature. We're only in 120, 130 feet of water. I feel like if we were in 200, they'd bite a little better, but still in the middle of a day with 93 degree water temperature, which is unreal, hard to get fish to bite. And let me give you one more reason why these fish shut down. This is us right now. We are in the absolute bottom of the tide. So no water movement, 93 degree water temperature, flat calm, so no water movement from the wind. Thanks for a pretty difficult situation. We've seen some fish down there, but we're gonna go ahead and call it. We've run around so much after the bite stopped, but this morning they were biting. Hey, I hope I have more big fish to show y'all, but it happens like that sometimes. I went one for three on bigs and one was an absolute monster. Um, that's just how it goes sometimes. We had a great day. Anytime it's glass calm, we try and get out here. So hope you enjoyed it. A lot more to come. See y'all soon.